Hello and greetings and salutations everyone, it is I, Flip the Bacon, and we're continuing on with our blind let's play of A Rose in the Twilight. Ooh, uh, that's the next book we have to grab up there. Um, this game was developed by Nippon, Nippon Ichi Software, and it was published here in America by their American branch, which is NIS America. So, we are continuing on, like I said, here in this video. Oh, look at that book, it has a little bird on it. Um... I wonder what the significance of this little bird is. Um, let's see, Animal Encyclopedia contains pictures of birds. Uh, I think it shows um, things in that. So we'll see what the bird encyclopedia says. A man-eating vampire bird, a variant bird with large ears and sharp fangs. It loves flesh, uh, loves flesh, fresh human blood and takes away children in the dark of night. It used to be a generic bird, but it learned the taste of blood from the man-eating beast, then transformed into its court form. No one has survived or witnessed an attack from these monsters. Be careful at night. Okay. Does that book go in there? Hmm? Maybe. Maybe not. Ah. Of course, I dropped a book. Alright, that just takes us back down. Um, I wonder if a rock guy can jump high enough to get it. Ah, well, he can jump through it, definitely throw it back up there. Alright. Oh, no. There we go. We got the book. And we're on our way. Uh, that's a fish book. Let's go ahead and drop the fi this book. Please. I guess I could have used it to grab that book. Can his little stone legs not carry it? Okay. Apparently not. Um, <laughs> let's read the details on this. The Black Belly. A fish with beautiful black abdomen. Uh, abdomen. It's often seen on dinner tables during the season when grapes ripen. It's abdomen, or it's abdomen, abdomen, there we go, abdomen is full of eggs and people enjoy it with salt. It was once forbidden to eat because people thought, uh, thought it was the incarnation of the thorns, but now it's loved by all and thought to prevent mil or illness. One second, be right back. All right, everyone, we're back here, and I'm just getting my headphones set back up on me. So, um, what were we determined? Oh, yes, okay, that's what we're doing. Um, I was gonna take the fish book. Uh, did we finish reading the fish book? Let's see, it was once forbidden to eat them because they thought it was a reincarnation of thorns, but now it's loved by all and thought to prevent illness. Okay, um, yes, I believe we did read it all. Oh, nope. Oh, can she climb up with a book? No, she can't. Hmm. So does that mean I have to chuck her? Probably. Um. Yep. And let's put the fish book in here. And, uh. And, uh, let's go ahead and get thrown back up there. And put this book in here. Oh, there we go. I wonder if it matters what direction we put these in. So, uh, uh, what's going on now? Oh, does it go up? Okay. Mm. Um, there we go. And she died, of course. And, uh, I think that put us way, way far back here. Uh, e yes, sir? Or was it the way through here? Um, did we just come through here? 
yes, yes we did. So we gotta go this way. Ah, okay, cool. Um, it took us all the way over here. So it wasn't quite like a restart, but close. But not quite. And then we're up to the moon book. Um, okay. And let's see what these books have to say. And this is... Lagona withered in the twilights, the sun sets in the spring silence, and the red field where thorns spread, grasshoppers devour lilacs, and dewdrops of purity ceaselessly dribble. One day when I can overcome the thorns and reach out to the small leaves, I will walk with you down the road filled with wild roses lit by the dawn. That was the dawn thing. Poetry of the region. And, uh, yeah, that probably sounds like where it's supposed to go. This is Poetry of the Region Clouds at Twilight. And what is this one? That's Twilight, and this one is Poetry of the Region of Night. And um, I want to read the details of the Midnight Anthology. Let's see. Dawn, remain, Dawn reminds me of the smell of lilacs and the breakdown of, of the, the break of dawn. Let's see. Sorry, guys. I got to start that all over. <clears throat> dawn reminds me of the, the smell of lilacs, the break of dawn, memory of beginning. I held her hand running through the field, stepping on wet grass. Eventually tomorrow will come and the bud of rose will bloom. Shall we break the thorns off the plant growing in the shadows together? Okay. And what does this one have to say? A dawn and twilight. Alone at night, plant. Uh, let see. Alone at night, plant without roots. Field without color, vanished hearts. As I stepped on withered grass, you guide me through a path full of wild roses, non fruit bearing roses, picked lilacs, warm eaten lily, abandoned bagona. Ah, there was a part two to this. The thorns sprout again at night, nourished by sorrow of the dead plants. It will surround the night with darkness the demon fears. Hmm. So. There we go. And. Okay. Hopefully, this does not squish us in the process of getting up here. And. What we got going on? That's that. And we got some kind of thing going on up here. We got the astronomy book. What it says here. Um, During the night with no moon, the cursed thorns grows the most. The moon is where all the gods return, and the moonlight has the power to purify. In a land of ice where thorns does, or thorns don't exist, the moon peeks out during the day and night. When it isn't visible, the darkness of the thorns is covering it. In order for the gods to suppress the thorns, a festival is held to honor the birth of stars during the season when grapes ripen. And... We'll hop here and uh, go back up and um, let's see if this takes us all the way through. No, so we, it looks like we do have to take the book all the way back to him and see what happens.
and uh, we should be getting there pretty shortly. I believe he is right over here. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Here he is. See the librarian who became yeah, uh, became a variant a variant. The librarian smiled when he received the book and handed her a letter, a letter and a key. Librarian's memos to yes, this book. Thank you, Rose. Let's go gaze on the stars like old times. Uh, what's wrong, Rose? Do you did your father ask you to do a favor? F f f let's see, favor, f f fave. You look for the rabbit statue in the shield room. Yes, was so it? You're looking for the rabbit statue in the shield room. Yes, it's small enough for you to carry. Bring it to the heart special tomorrow. The rabbit statue can repel thorns. Perhaps it can help that kid too. I should give it to blah. Oh, are you lost? Hold on. This. Hold on to this key. I will. It will allow you to go beyond the glass room. Yes, I'm sorry. Forgive me, Rose. 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 I'm counting on you. Okay. And uh, going back up. And we definitely saw some blood in here that we need to collect, but I'm not 100% certain on how we're gonna get that. So we're gonna go this way and get to the next little area and then we'll probably call it good for the day um for this video anyway um there's a little bit of blood there and i'm not 100 percent certain how to get that i'm curious to see if that's open. It is. So, how do we get in there? I don't think I can jump that and not die. Uh, I know how we get that. So... leave her up there and then we'll go over here and get the blood and see what kind of memory we get out of this and this is Rose I'm assuming this is Rose that we're having memories of maybe it's someone else who knows we'll find out Readjusting in my chair. Looks like a drink of my water. That's rather unfortunate. I don't know. She got a paper cut. Is this how the creatures end up uh, becoming whatever they did? The vampire bats. Ah, that's the book she was reading there. Okay. Interesting. And let's go up there. And go through that door. And hopefully this will be the new area. And we can call it good. <laughs> and that did not go well for her. Um...
And it looks like we got a lot more to go. Hmm. Well, guys, I'm going to try to exit the game here and uh, right here and see if it saves. Um, I guess we could find out real quick. Yes, yes, we're back here, guys. It does look like it's saved right here. Cool. So, as I always say at the end of every single one of my videos, flip that bacon. See you next time, and goodbye, and I hope you're enjoying this. See you around, guys. All right, goodbye. Ka-ching.